Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today we got a very special guest. We got the beautiful, lovely, talented Paige Her with us. Everybody clap it up. Paige, what's up? How you feeling? How are you? Well, well, thank you. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Um, so we all know you for you know your role in power, but I want to talk about like just like your growth and journey as an actress, you know, as a young uh, thespian in, in this world and just really coming up. So how would you say your career started? Um, it started when I was really young. You know, I always say I was kind of thrown into it. So most people are like, you know, when did you know? And I'm like, I didn't because I started really, really young. Um, I actually started out in print work when I was four years old. And I was out in Dallas. I was doing like um, JC Penny catalogs and all that stuff. And then my first national commercial was like in 1999. And from there, we moved to California. And then I started my career. So it kind of just happened for me. And it's kind of all I know. And, you know, I just kind of fell in love with it as I grew up. So I just stuck with it. Nice. So as you get like received scripts and things like that, like what is your process as far as like? you know, really coming into character and becoming who you're portraying in like these films? Um, well, I think what most people don't realize is like you really have to connect with the character. So um, like for me, I like to read it, break it down. And if it just doesn't, if, if I can't get the words flowing easily, then I just know it's really not something that I want to be doing. Um, there are definitely things that I know I've fallen in love with. And then, you know, auditions where you're just like, mm, just kind of have to do it to do it. But for me, like, I really have to connect with that character and see where I can bring myself into, um, you know, just kind of combining, because you always have to combine yourself with that character. Yeah. So if I can do that, then that's the roles that I'm taking. Cool, because I always feel like a good role is like a character where you don't have to follow their script, like word for word, where you can kind of like, add a little bit a little bit or just like kind of make it up as it go and it still sounds sounds like natural to you because you're just like connected to that character exactly so what have been like some movies of yours that have been just like a favorite of yours to like shoot and just even prepare for it? um let's say like top three projects my top three yeah. okay i'd have to say top three are gonna be Cradle to the Grave, because that was my first. Uh, Beauty Shop was really, really fun. That was my um, second film, but it was my first time being around such a huge ensemble, like of all these huge stars that I was playing with. Um, you know, it's so funny too, I was just watching, or I wasn't watching, somebody was watching it. I didn't know Omari was actually in Beauty Shop. Oh, so wow. that, yeah, right? He like <laughs> had like a cameo or whatever. And I was like, that's crazy. Um, and then I'd have to say power because power is my first series regular role mm -hmm. that I ever had. And it took me, you know, like 20 years in this business to have my first series regular role. Um, so those are definitely my top three. And then just to add one more, I really did enjoy doing the oval as well. Nice. That nice. was really fun. That was definitely a different type of experience. So. So let's talk about power real quick. How have you seen like your role with Mike, or I guess like Tariq, just kind of develop through like the season? So what's on? Um, well, off the rip, me and Mike just had really great chemistry. Um, I was really shocked and I tell, I tell him all the time, like, you know, to be so young and to have this like powerful role that you're playing and just to be in this position of power, like he's so humble, he's so kind and he makes, you know, he made the whole entire cast uh, feel welcomed and that it was, you know, everyone's show and not just his. So I, I thought it was it was really fun working with Michael and we we definitely had a good time for our two seasons together. Right. And lastly, the Special Olympics, I know it's special to you. So talk about like, you know, your relationship with them and just like how it connects to you. Um, so I've always just had a really special place in my heart for young adults and kids with special needs. I hated watching how they got treated, you know, in school and it always used to really rub me wrong. And then my um, mother had her last child who happens to be my younger brother, Pierce, who has Down syndrome. So, um, you know, just the things that I felt in grade school, I really wanted to put in like action in motion and trying to be a part of the change in the community. 
So it's really important for me. And I'm actually really working hard to um, work with the Special Olympics as they're, you know, starting to train again and best buddies. And I just I have like these crazy dreams in my head where one day I want to just create an entire world for them. You know, like if if the world is not going to give them a chance, like I'm going to give them their own world to have a chance in. And so it's just very important for me to let them know that they matter and that, you know, they can do everything we can. And they're so smart. You know, people just don't even give them the time of day, but they're they're incredible human beings. So, yeah. So for us, uh, you know, our finish line, JD Sports, you know, this whole program for me voices to elevate, you know, voices like yours and to speak about things you're passionate about, such as uh, Special Olympics. And, you know, you're joining like a, a list of incredibly talented people like yourself from like Wei Wei, Mike, Kelly Rowland, and now yourself as far as like speaking to things you're passionate about. So we want to definitely help you create this world and donate ten thousand dollars to the special Olympics on your behalf. So I would definitely say share a Thank page. you. And I'll definitely, you know, hopefully you'll see that, reach out, you can make even things even bigger things happen. Yes, that is the goal. So yeah. you guys call me. <laughs> <laughs> but again, thank you so much.